always pack in pizza. It's the best first meal. In August of 2023, I went on a short backpacking trip back to the Rewa Wilderness, one of my favorite spots that I had not been since just before the Cameron Peak fire, which was the biggest fire in Colorado history, which happened in 2020. It was wonderful to go back. I did some spinning and weaving, and I wanted to show you a little bit of my adventure in this video. I took the West Branch Trail and then the Ray Raw Trail and ended up camped just below Twin Crater Lakes. This is one of the forks of the Laramie River and I've actually been here when it was way higher than this and I had to wade. Um, but somebody has actually found an old bridge and the crossing was easy. It's also August. I set up camp in a favorite spot in the valley below Twin Crater Lakes and watched the sunset that evening. The next morning, I woke up early because I had to pee and I was having dreams about taking care of dogs. And I saw this uh, sunrise, which was the sun coming through smoke, which I finally determined was from fires in Canada and Northern uh, USA that there was not a fire nearby, but it always gives you pause when you wake up and you actually smell wildfire smoke. I did see a moose that first night in this valley before I went to sleep, and then the next morning I hiked up two Twin Crater Lakes. The lakes are gorgeous, and because it was a Monday, there was no one else there. I sat up there for a couple hours and spun a good quantity of yarn for the tapestry I would weave. Eventually I left those beautiful lakes, headed back down the valley, past my campsite, and on for another adventure lower down. Grassy Pass is right up there. I was hiking there today as a day hike, um, after hiking up to a different lake, and I have decided that I do not have the gas in my ass to get up to Grassy Pass. So instead, I am sitting by this stream for a while and doing some drawing and spinning and whatever. I think it's a good decision. I drew for a while and then I warped my backpacking loom and started weaving with the yarn that I had spun that morning. Eventually I headed back to camp and right when I finished having some dinner, a thunderstorm came through. So I ended up working on that weaving in the tent until dark. Mm -hmm. 
this was my view when I woke up. I'm literally still laying in my sleeping bag looking out of the door of my tent. I had a few more hours to weave that morning and then it was time to pack up and head back to the car. I'm back at the West Fork, West, North Fork of the Laramie River, um, where I was on Sunday, today's Tuesday, and I've had a really nice three days out in the Rewa Wilderness. It's been uh, beautiful. I only saw one moose. I heard some marmots. I didn't see them. Didn't see any bear. Uh, probably that's good. Had a nice day yesterday. I did some hiking around and um, went to a lake and had some more time weaving by a stream and um, last night though the weather forecast said zero percent chance of precipitation and I get the forecast on my Garmin like at the time like I had just gotten it an hour before um, huge thunderstorm fortunately the lightning was um, several miles away so could have been worse dumping rain I thought at the time I thought this morning I probably should have recorded some of that for those of you who've never experienced a thunderstorm at high altitude but um, it wasn't too bad and the little single wall tent that I had with me um, stood up great did an awesome job and I had a quiet night spent some more time weaving this morning in camp and now I am headed out to the car to go back to the real world um, it's fun to get away for a few days and this particular place is one that um, I'm really fond of. This where I camped um, this week is the same place that I camped um, in 2020 just before the Cameron Peak fire. So I remember hiking out that day and thinking um, I'm not ready to go but I can come back anytime and then a few days later that fire started and I was positive that this whole area had burned. The um, fire actually burned up to the ridge that's right on the other side of this valley. So it was close but it did not burn this part of the wilderness. This southern part of the wilderness did get burned. Um, anyway, it's interesting to revisit um, places uh, later. I've it's been three years now, almost three years to the day that that fire started. So it's, um, yeah, interesting to come back. Anyway, it's been a great hike and um, I'm ready to go out and maybe get a cold soda or a hamburger. Always want that after a few days of backpacking. See you later. This photo from the trailhead shows where the fire stopped and the valley that I hiked up. Driving in and back out again through the burn area is quite um, astounding actually and there's a little bit more footage of that burn area. Hope you get to go hiking and weaving sometime soon.